Hey guys, this is GG Your Face, and I'll be casting a game between AT and Sock and Tori. AT and Sock is a Protoss player. He's spawning at the 9 o'clock position, and Tori is spawning at the 3 o'clock position as Terran. This is game number two in a tournament. This should be cool because I have not casted that many Protoss versus Terran, and this was suggested to me by one of my viewers, and I thank you for suggesting it to me should be a very interesting game. It showcases some of the micro skills, some critical thinking, you know, a lot of the good stuffs. Sock is scouting with his probe after he put down a pylon and for the Terran player he's putting down the supply depot at his front entrance. It's always important to check out the watchtower because this could give you information on where the other player is. You might brush it up against this and see a a player exiting and you'll know for sure that he's at this base and you can also get information to see whether or not the probes are coming from the tower in this direction or in this direction that will give you a hint of where your enemy is and we see that he does not scout correctly the first time barracks going down for the Terran player and gateway going down for the Protoss player Sock. Terran player Atari is finishing up his barracks and he just started his refinery. I think Sock will be able to get in here and potentially harass this SCV as it's building and he does choose to do that. The SCV now I think will be scouting the correct manner. This second SCV, a similar that goes down for the Protoss player, second SCV comes in to help prevent the further harass. Now Sock sees that there is a refinery up and it's getting saturated with three SCVs. A similar just comes up for the Protoss player. Orbital Command goes down for Terran. For Tari. And here we see Sok not too happy <laughs> about to see the supply depot. And he attacks it. And it only does 2 damage per hit. Tari returns a favor and says, I know you're attacking my building. I'm going to attack your building as well. Cybernetics Core going for Sok. Very usual for a Terran player, for, I mean, for Protoss player to skip the first Zealot and get the first. Cybernetic Core into Stalker. Second Assimilator going up for the Protoss player. And a Tech Lab going up for the Terran player. Ooh, very interesting. We see a Proxy Pylon. Would, it, would this be some sort of 4 gate push or something else? Very interesting. But it's always good to have your Pro put down a Pylon outside your base because that will allow you to reinforce your troops from a different direction than just from your main base. So you could potentially have a better chance of surrounding your opponent if that's what you're looking to do. He chrono boosted his first stalker and he's not chrono boosting his warp gate. Hmm, I don't know if this is a mistake on his part or if he's thinking of doing something fishy. Ooh, and we see a proxy robotics facility at the gold expansion near the Terran. This is very interesting. First stalker coming out, checks the first tower and probably going to go to the next tower. Right now in the units we see one marine and one marauder. The marauder and marine should have no problem killing off the stalker, but we'll see if this stalker can do anything against the marine. If this marine actually goes down, he might be able to see it, but he does not. He chooses to run in the other direction. Hmm. Very interesting so far. Perhaps we'll see an immortal or yeah, that makes sense. And Mortal would be really nice and very, very smart at this point. We see two Marauders against this one Stalker. This Stalker really needs to run away because the concussive shells are being researched and it's not complete. And lucky for this Stalker, he's able to run away from the slower Mortals. The Chrono Boost has been saved up for the Nexus and he's Chrono Boosting the Immortal out. He has two Stalkers here. The Terran, player the Terran player has two Immortals, and he's building more Immortals, probably going to mix in some Marines as soon as these reactors are complete. This pro, maybe he's stuck behind the mineral line. <laughs> Second Immortal getting Chrono boosted as well. These Stalkers are piling out. They're gathering at the pylon, I mean at the tower. Three, immor three Marauders, the base are getting saturated with more and more infantry units. Right now we see three immortals, no two, two immortals, second immortal coming out, and as soon as he gets that second immortal he's probably gonna move out. We see three stalkers, two zealots, and two immortals. Oh, we're gonna see an early push against 
three stalkers, I mean three marauders, and one ghost. The ghost does not have EMP right now. The ghost does not have EMP. This could be critical. These two immortals are going up. He sends the Zealot first. He fires on the supply depot and he breaks the supply depot. He's able to get in. He gets kills one the marauder, the second the marauder, and he kills the ghost. The ghost does not get the EMP off. And I think this might be GG. Oh my god, he just charges in there with just two immortals. And here we see he's killing off the tech labs. And Tari says GG, well played. Wow, what a quick and exciting game that was. Haven't seen that many great rushes from Protoss. But this proxy robotics facility has won him the game. Very, very well played by the Protoss player. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, always GG your games. And if you don't want to GG your games, at least say GG your face. See you guys next time.